Hey guys, welcome to Kerno EDC. Uh, today we're looking at some budget level EDC pens. Uh, these are all acquirable for under £30 uh, here in the UK. Um, the prices may vary depending on if you're in the States or somewhere else in the world. Um, but yeah, I'll add the links below uh, in the description. Uh, so starting off, we have, in fact there's a couple of pens here. Uh, this is a right in the rain, um, but two of the other pens, this one and this one, are uh, both also very good for outdoor usage uh, in damp conditions or the likes. I'll get into the ins and outs of all the pens as we go along. Uh, but this particular one I bought as a two-pack on Amazon by the company Right in the Rain that make really good waterproof notebooks. Um, so yeah, this came as a two-pack. This is in tan. I believe they also do uh, some in olive and maybe black and I'm sure probably some other colours as well that are a bit brighter. Uh, so here you just pull this out and then you pop that on and then you have yourself a biro. I'm left-handed. Um, but yeah, super duper lightweight, folds down super small. Uh, this comes in a two-pack. Uh, I bought this off of Amazon, or the set off of Amazon, for twenty one ninety nine. Um, yeah, really, really lightweight and compact. Uh, so a great um, starting biro with right in the rain capabilities. Uh, this also has similar capabilities. This is by Fisher. This is the Fisher's Bullet Space Pen. Uh, this particular one is in brass and it is patinaed well. I've only had this uh, probably less than a month. Uh, and it's already looking really nice and patinaed. This end is a bit shiny still. Um, but yeah, really beautiful pen. Uh, these are, uh, I think of the lot, the most expensive. These are £30 uh, generally, uh, and they vary in a number of different colours and styles. Um, you can also get a clip for them as well if you wish. Uh, they're a bit pricey, um, but for £30 these are really nice. Uh, tactile style pens. So you open up uh, the pen and then you put the cap on that end and then you've got a full length pen. But it's still fairly compact, sort of like the right in the rain. Uh, but obviously you're paying a little bit more. Um, with these sort of right in the rain style pens, you can write sort of upside down. So say you're sat on the sofa and you want to do, or the couch, and you want to do a crossword uh, holding the book above you. Uh, if the pen ink was to run back, it's not going to um, create any issues. Um, you can also write against walls and stuff easily. Um, these you can use underwater, uh, and then they're also really good in very hot conditions or very cold conditions. It's not really going to affect your ink uh, or laying down ink um, too much. Uh, then we have this. This is one of, um, I've got a number of these in different colours. Um, these vary on Amazon between £4.50 in the UK up to about £7. Uh, this one's chrome. I have a couple of black ones. I bought a purple one for my partner. Um, so there's several different colours that you can get. Um, as you can see, the tip of the pen isn't out at the minute. But if you expand, the zebra expands. It's then full size, the tip comes out, uh, it goes away neatly, uh, and then you have the pocket clip. Um, it's super fidgety, I spin them around a lot, um, and yeah, very affordable. Um, so of the lot, I think this is the cheaper one, uh, moving up to the second cheapest, which is this. This is the Tombow Airpress pen, uh, this comes in again uh, several to a dozen different colours varying from brights like yellow and orange uh, to darker stuff like pink, uh, sorry, pink uh, to black and then I think they also have a see-through one uh, which is sort of futuristic looking. Really like the uh, pocket clips on these, um, they're super uh, sort of loose to pull. Um, but then they're sturdy when the clip is on, so you're not likely to lose it easily. Uh, what it basically does is when you push this, it injects air into the chamber that has the ink, um, which allows you to write in many harsh conditions under different temperatures uh, on wet paper or, you know, write in the rain notebooks. 
any sort of harsh conditions, these pans are great. I tend to get these, I have ordered a black one, but I do have these mostly in yellow, because if I'm out, say, in the woods, I chuck it on the floor a minute while I'm busy, I know exactly where it is, because it's bright yellow. Uh, so, very handy, uh, and a really good pen. I've got a number of these. Um, also keep one in my kayak with uh, writing their own notebook. Um, so yeah, super handy just to have a, a pen and notebook on you in whatever conditions you're in. Moving on, if you're after a sort of budget fountain pen, this is sort of a standard size pen, um, not as compact as some of these other options, um, but a great pen nonetheless. Uh, but the reason I included this is that it's a very lightweight plastic, so though it's still got the same sort of size as your standard pens, it's um, quite considerably lighter. This is by a company called Lamy or Lamy. I think it's Lamy Safari is the type of pen. Again, comes in a load of colours. You can get these in orange, olive greens, black. Um, but yeah, really good budget fountain pen. I bought this for my partner for her birthday. Um, the price I paid was, well, they vary on Amazon from 18 to 22 pounds. Um, again, they come in different colours. Um, pretty sturdy pocket clip. Um, opening up the pen, you have a nice sort of medium to small size tip, uh, and then these sort of grooves for your finger and thumb, um, which is very comfortable. Uh, again, the pen's super lightweight, um, so that's one of the strong points of this. Um, I don't believe it came with ink, um, but it'll take your standard sort of cartridges. If you're an eco warrior like we are, uh, and you don't like sort of having to buy replacement cartridges all the time, there is a solution. They sell this on Amazon uh, for five to six pounds, and this you can buy like a, a jar of ink, um, and then you twist this, where you put the submerge it, twist this down, and then you vacuum the ink up into this chamber put the insert in the Lamy Safari pen, and you're good to go. Um, yeah, so these are a selection of EDC pens that might be of use to you if you're starting out or if you're just wanting to have some extra pens kicking about to chuck in bags and stuff. Uh, some of these are just really good options. Obviously, um, you might be aware, even if you're just delving into um, ED the EDC world at the minute, how much some people can spend on pens um, with various precious metals and the likes. Um, I have some nice high-end EDC pens, but when you're starting out, um, if you're buying lots of things, it can be pretty pricey. So um, having these kind of cheaper options can be a good starting point, especially the Fisher Space Pen, if Bullet Space Pen, if you're after something kind of flashy, but that isn't going to break the bank too much. Uh, yeah, so I hope you like these uh, pens. I hope this has been of help to you. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified. I'll attach the links below in good time for you guys to check out. Hope you like this and have a great day.